hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love was how malishka rendered rishi unconscious because rishi was going to stop um lakshmi and balvinda's marriage then lakshmi tells her sisters the truth that she was only trying to help kamli and she was not trying to get married to balvinda so let's continue from there shalu and bani hug lakshmi lakshmi says we are happy that you will not marry balvinda bani says we were dying within each other thinking that you will marry balvinda Lakshmi says she has decided to marry Balvinda for her sisters, but then God made her meet Kamli. Lakshmi says to Shalu and Bani that we have to get Kamli's marriage done with Balvinda. Bani says she was sure that brother-in-law and her sister can never be separated. Malishka asks Rishi why he wants to go to Lakshmi's wedding and says Lakshmi's marriage must have happened by now and she asks if he wants to do her farewell. Lakshmi says to Shalu and Bani that Kamli is outside and she tells them that she will come when she calls her and then they will make her get ready and sit with Balvinda. Shalu says we have to make foolproof plan because Balvinda is more alerted now and Lakshmi says she agreed and says we have to make a wise plan. Bani says if Lakshmi's marriage would have happened with Balvinda then I don't know what would have happened. Shalu says don't say this. And she tells Lakshmi that everyone were worried about you and they did not want your marriage to happen with Balvinda. She says now she is praying to God that Kamli should marry Balvinda. And Lakshmi says we have to think of how to make Kamli sit with Balvinda. Balvinda opens the room door and finds Rishi standing there. Rishi eats Balvinda and asks how dare he to try to marry Lakshmi. Balvinda says you have divorced Lakshmi. Ayush comes there. Rishi eats Balvinda and he asks him to die and he makes him unconscious and Balvinda faints. Ayush asks Rishi that what is the plan now that Balvinda is unconscious. Rishi says Balvinda's roadside friends are here. Ayush says I had a hard time to make Lakshmi elope but she returned to marry Balvinda. Rishi says Lakshmi is going to marry but she will get married to me and Ayush is shocked and happy. Rishi says to Ayush that he will sit on the wedding altar with Lakshmi. Ayush gets happy. Rishi says after that, he stops and he asks Ayush to hear his plan, but Ayush doesn't hear him because he was too excited. Rishi thinks that Ayush has no idea about what he's going to do and Ayush says that he will take off Balvinda's clothes so that Rishi can wear it. Rano comes to Lakshmi's room and sits. Kamli thinks if she should go inside and she thinks that Lakshmi did not call her till now. Nilam regrets to come there and says she cannot stand all this useless drama. Grandma says I am sad thinking that why did Lakshmi come back here when she had a chance to run away. Ayana says to Grandma that Lakshmi is marrying Balvinda for her sisters and Lakshmi is sacrificing her life. Virendra says now I understand that Lakshmi is thinking about others. Ayana says Lakshmi had gone from here but she returned. Virendra asks Nilam to sit. Nilam says she has no option and they argue. Ayush made Rishi ready in Balvinda's wedding dress and Lakshmi is ready in her bridal wear. Lakshmi thinks of how to make everything fine. Malishka is in the car and she thinks that if Lakshmi was in front of her, then she would have asked her for the black magic that she has done on Rishi so that she can do the same black magic because Rishi doesn't want to leave Lakshmi. Malishka says to herself that why did Rishi not come out till now and she thinks if Rishi got Lakshmi back, she says she will kill Lakshmi. She sees Kamli sitting and she thinks that why is she not going inside? Rano take off bad side from Lakshmi. Shalu argues with her and asks Rano to get Nea's marriage done with Balvinda. Rano gets angry and says she will push Shalu by her ear and take her outside. She asks Lakshmi to come because everyone is waiting. Bani covers Lakshmi's face with the veil. Rano asks why did she cover her face with the veil? Bani says the priest said that the bride's face should be veiled and Rano says okay. Bani and Shalu ask that what would they do now and Rano asks Lakshmi to come. Malishka sees Kamli and asks that who is she. Kamli says she is Shika. Malishka asks what is she doing here. Kamli says she was searching for her ring. Malishka asks her to tell her truly why she is here. Kamli asks that why is Malishka questioning her. Malishka thinks that Kamli has come to steal in the poor people's marriage and Kamli says Malishka was very clever to ask her questions. Ayush asks Rishi not to tell anything to Malishka about what they are doing. Rishi asks why. Ayush asks Rishi not to tell her and in fact, he should call Malishka and tell her that he has left the wedding venue. Lakshmi asks Shalu to call Kamli. Shalu calls Kamli and asks her to come inside and hide in the room. And Kamli says okay. Kamli gets happy and says finally, Lakshmi is getting her married. Malishka comes inside and sees the obra is there. 
Nilam tells her that the marriage haven't happened till now. Malishka says Rishi has come here. Nilam asks Ayush if Rishi came here. Ayush says Rishi had come, but he left thinking that if Malishka sees him here, then she will feel bad. Malishka calls Rishi. Rishi says he left from there because he cannot bear Lakshmi marrying Balvinda. Malishka says I was in the car and I did not see you leaving. Rishi says he doesn't have time to talk and he ends the call. Malishka tells Ayush that she will stay here with Nilam. Ayush thinks that Rishi is marrying Lakshmi and he is not stopping her marriage. Rano is taking Lakshmi outside. Sheila, that is Balvinda's aunt, asks Rano if she is Lakshmi. Rano asks her not to call her an idiot in disguise. She asks her to check the bride and confirm if she doesn't trust her. Sheila lifted the veil and sees Lakshmi. Rano tells her that the marriage would happen only if she wants and she asks her to respect her. Lakshmi tells Rano that she wants to apply perfume and she will come back and she goes inside the room and comes to Shalu asking that where is the perfume. Shalu says it is there. Lakshmi asks Shalu to push her so that the perfume goes into Rano's eyes for some time and she will close her eyes for some time and then they can carry out their plan. Shalu goes behind Lakshmi. Rano asks Lakshmi why she is applying perfume here. Lakshmi says I thought to apply perfume to you also. Rano says okay. Shalu comes there and pushes Lakshmi when Lakshmi is spraying the perfume. The perfume goes into Rano's eyes. Rano closes her eyes and scolds Lakshmi and others. And Lakshmi says sorry and says Shalu pushed her by mistake. Kamli comes there. Lakshmi and Shalu signals to her to go to the room. And Kamli goes to the room. Lakshmi also goes to the room. Shalu and Bani pretend as if Lakshmi is still there with them. Shalu says she will bring wet clothes to keep on Rano's eyes. She brings the wet clothes and asks Lakshmi to keep it on Rano's eyes. Rano says, yes, Lakshmi, keep it on my eyes because I don't trust Shalu. Bani asks Lakshmi to sit with Rano. Shalu sits beside Rano and then gets the wet clothes. Lakshmi makes Kamli ready in the bridal dress and the jewelry. Kamli asks Lakshmi and says, whatever you have done for me, even a real sister couldn't do. You gave me a new life, else I would have died that day. Lakshmi says to Kamli that please don't say this. Your new life should start with good thoughts and thoughts. She asks her to be careful and says nobody should see your face. She opens the door and brings Kamli out. Rano asks, until when will I have to keep this cloth on my eyes? She asks if anyone is here or not. Lakshmi says I will take the cloth out and she goes inside. While Kamli takes out the wet cloth from Rano's eyes pretending to be Lakshmi. Rano opens her eyes and she asks Kamli to come thinking that she is Lakshmi. Ayush thinks that Rishi and Lakshmi should get married soon and he thinks that some people will be happy and some people will be unconscious after this and he looks at Malishka. The priest asks them to call the bride and the groom else he will not get the marriage done. Rishi comes downstairs wearing the groom attire and he covers his face with the sharer. Guru thinks that the groom is Bauvinda and he says your working style has changed and it has become like Rishi. He is about to leave the sharer but Rishi stops him. Ayush panics that their plan will fail and Malishka calls Ayush a fool for talking nonsense. Guru says they will beat Rishi after the marriage and Rishi slaps him and he goes to sit at the wedding altar. Rishi sits at the wedding altar. Kamli comes there as the bride and sits beside him for the marriage, thinking that he is Balvinda. The priest asks that where are the gallants of the bride and the groom. Guru says I will bring the gallant and Ayush gets worried that Guru might see the unconscious Balvinda inside. Shalu stops Gudu and says, I had won that gallant before, so we cannot make use of the gallant won by me. The priest says, okay, the marriage can happen without the gallant if the groom permit. Rishi nods his head that he permit, and Shalu smiles and takes a sign of relief. Gudu asks Shalu that why are you suddenly happy about the marriage? Shalu says that her sister said that she will marry Balvinda anyhow, so she is happy for her sister and not for the marriage. Shalu whispers to Bani that Gudu doesn't know that Kamli is sitting in Lakshmi's place. Balvinda's friend comes to the groom's room and searches for his purse, but he couldn't see Balvinda unconscious and tied up there. He gets a call and comes to know that the purse has been found. Lakshmi is wearing Kamli's clothes and she comes out. She feels that Rishi is here and she looks around, but she couldn't see Rishi. Lakshmi thinks that where is Rishi? She sees the groom and sees Rishi sitting as the groom after seeing the ring in Rishi's hand. Lakshmi remembered that she had made Rishi wear the ring on their engagement day and she is shocked to know that Rishi is sitting at the wedding altar instead of Balvinda. Rishi thinks that this ring can expose him, so he silently takes out the ring from his finger and keeps it in his pocket. 
Malishka thinks that the drama should end soon so that she can get rid of Lakshmi. Nilam says Lakshmi should marry soon so that she can go far away from my son's life, from both of my son and Malishka's life. Lakshmi thinks that why did Rishi do this? She thinks that if Rishi is here, then where is Balvinda? The priest says that they should do the guard badan. Rano signals to Nilam to tie the guard badan, but Nilam refused. Rano ties the guard badan and gives Rishi's hand in Kamli's hand, and Rishi finally realized that she is not Lakshmi, else he would have felt her presence. Rano ties the guard badan and moves without saying that the groom is Rishi. Are you she's happy about the marriage? Shalu asks, Why are you happy? Ayu says everything is happening as per the plan. Shalu asks if Ayush know that the bride is Kamli and not their sister who is marrying Balvinda. Ayush is shocked. Shalu slaps Ayush. Ayush asks who is Kamli. He says everything is ruined and he pretends to cry. Ayush asks Shalu that with whose permission did you make this plan and says Rishi is sitting in Balvinda's place. Shalu says this cannot happen. Bani says Ayush, you are a fool. Shalu asks Ayush to stop the marriage. Bani says Kamli and brother-in-law, no, and Shalu and Bani goes to search for Lakshmi. Ayush says I will call Rishi. He calls Rishi and signals to him to pick the call, but Rishi signals to him that he will not pick the call. Ayush thinks of how to stop this marriage and how to save his brother. He thinks that he cannot tell anyone and says God please save Rishi. He says Rishi is getting married without telling anyone and he regrets his plan. Shalu blames Ayush and she goes to Lakshmi. Lakshmi says, I know that the groom is Rishi. She says she saw the ring in Rishi's hand and says, I know. But what is Rishi doing here? And why has Rishi come here? She says, Rishi has ruined everything by coming here. Rishi thinks that he had planned to stop the marriage anyhow. And his aim was to stop Lakshmi's marriage with Balvinda. And he thinks of what to do. Rishi started scratching his body. The priest asks, what is happening? Ayush thinks that Rishi... Balvinda's destiny is sitting beside you, and you have realized this. Shalu asks Lakshmi to marry Rishi. Lakshmi asks if she has gone mad, and says that today, Kamli should marry Balvinda so that she can get justice, because if Kamli doesn't marry Balvinda today, then she will never be able to marry him again. She says Kamli should marry Balvinda anyhow today, and they all wondered what to do. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a like and share it as well. And don't forget to check the comment section for the link to the next episode once it is available. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.